welcome to this uh, update video of my kick refrigerator um, we've reached version 1.2 now and in this short video I'm demonstrating the new features for you I've been listening to your feedback I've been testing and and uh, experimenting myself a bit more with uh, new features so um, yeah let me guide you through what happened well first of all um, the plugin um, had some improved layers. Uh, four attack layers uh, have been re uh, replaced. Uh, some punch uh, sounds have been added. Um, some tail sounds have been added. So there's more fun to play around with. Um, and the user interface and the features have changed. So um, let's start with the on the left. We have now uh, individual uh, volume and pitch control. So you can tune each of the layers and every layer has like, like a, a navigation feature in which you can browse through the sound from left to right. So let's uh, see how that sounds. <laughs> That is really, really easy and uh, functional to use. Um, on the bottom, and that is in interesting, we have a shuffle mode. And the shuffle mode is actually fun to use because um, based on the attack, tail, extra layer and sweep layer, more on the sweep layer later on, um, we can randomly select layers within all of the uh, available layers. And you can do that by an, making the uh, layer eligible for shuffle mode. And once you click the shuffle button, it starts, it starts shuffling. So right now I have the shuffle mode for the attack and the sweep. So the tail and the raw attack uh, in, in this case will remain. I'm setting it to punch, uh, by the way, That's I love that. So let's uh, check it out. Nice, okay, so. Um, the new layer, the sweep layer, well, that is an interesting layer because that kind of like makes the kick configurator a kick generator, whatever, how you want to call it, um, because you can add like this additional tail layer now and that additional tail layer uh, can be uh, sweeped around, can be EQ'd, can be um, given certain movement. That is really interesting. So check it out. Um, let me just play around with it. Like that. And you've seen me click the layer effects and master effects toggle. First of all, the toggle is new, but um, um, as the name say, there are, is now a master effects section, which has the previously known low pass, high pass, reverb and size um, knobs, the speed and the spike. But there's a new one, the stereo. Let me test it. <laughs> really convenient and now you've seen me click um, with the mouse and with the command or in Windows uh, control and this is used for setting the knob to the default position this is really convenient for setting a knob to like zero or, or zero decibel or zero percent and percent and decibel another new thing the labels um, the amounts the values of the specific knobs now have an actual label value so decibels Hertz or um, um, volume, um, pitch tune, I mean. Um, so yeah, that is also something new. And let's check out the layer effects section because now each of the independent layers has uh, more options. For instance, the attack layer has an individual individual reverb. So now you can only put the re a reverb on the attack sound. The tail sound has additional distortion and EQ, that is really powerful because the beast mode, of course, is really used for a lot of aggressive um, kick effects. But now you can actually uh, change the kick sound a bit with the individual distortion and EQ. The tune modulation for the extra or the previously known raw attack layer, 
now has uh, is also included again of course this was introduced in version 1.1 and the sweep stretch and eq mode i already uh, showed you so i i think a lot more fun uh, a lot more um, uh, features to play around with new sounds free update for existing users very important so log into your account or uh, click the previously um, uh, sent um, guest checkout um, um, uh, link or if you have any problems just uh, contact me and so yeah um thanks for all the feedback so far thanks for all your support i hope you enjoyed this new version of the plugin and uh enjoying the studio guys